wanted to make a follow-up video um, on the internal wave strike that's talked about in Russian martial art. And so this idea of feeling where your feet are. Think about all athletics. You need to understand the alignment of your posture starts with your feet. And this idea that you can pull um, energy from the floor, but it's really an energy in the sense of uh, potential coiled energy. So you're coiling muscles. And that's how you're, if you dig your foot into the ground and twist your body without moving the foot, I'm tightening the knee, I'm tightening the hip, I can no longer twist anymore. And I'm like a coiled spring. See it? And it's almost like a, uh, like a bow and arrow. You're coiled, and you release it. Coiled, but it starts here, with the rotation. Okay? Same thing with, uh, with a strike. You coil. Okay? Now what happens if you don't have space to generate this big, this big swinging motion? It takes time. You see? How can you become more efficient and how can you generate power in as little space as possible? Imagine if you're pressed up against the wall. You need to be able to generate force within your structure. That's the biggest thing. That this whole concept of internal wave motion, motion is you're generating momentum within your structure. But it comes through relaxation and understanding how to piece together kinetically transitioned weight from your foot to your hip to the rotation of your spine into a strike. And that's why if you can keep like almost like a figure eight pattern, especially in your in your movement patterns, protecting your central line, maintaining your posture, that kind of makes you a fit more efficient fighter because you're loose, you're ready to transition into any movement. Your hands can be up for protection, but you're fluid. And you can strike from whatever position you get in. And so that's an interesting concept as well. You, even if you lose your posture and your structure, you just got hit. Whoa. Now I'm bent, okay? But like, like uh, bamboo, it bends, and then it snaps back, right? So that's why in Sistema, you can stay relaxed. And if you lose your posture, well, you better straighten it back up. Or if you lose your posture in any sport position, straighten back up, get back on track, literally. You bend, okay? create this plane that, that allows your, the, the strike to slide by. You're creating planes. It slides by. It slides. But you have to move with it. You get caught when you get stuck. If you're moving, whoop, even if, you, even if the, you get struck in the head, if you're relaxed, it can, tra oh, this is an important point. In transitioning movement, in transitioning weight rather, behind a strike, precision is all about the alignment of where you hit them, where you hit an individual. So consider the jaw or the body. The body's pretty armored up with muscle, and so you have to penetrate that. How do you get into that? And so that happens with timing and precision and relaxation, but also having all of your weight behind the strike. And so when, when you consider punching, where's your power come from? They say the feet. It's this, it's this rotation of the hip, but it's rooted from the ground. You're pulling 
from the ground. Watch the watch this wave action. My weight's on.